All right, today going to do a video on my tube tester, my main one that I use most often. I love this tester. It's a Seco 107A tube tester. It's a very versatile tester, easy to use. Uh, it's, it's pretty accurate. Uh, I'll show you some of the operation. I'm going to test three tubes, a 12AX7, EL84, and a 6L6. First thing you do, you turn your power on and let it warm up for a minute. It's very, it even tests compactron and sweep tubes and it doesn't do any of the old four, five, or six pin tubes but the, the seven, eight, and nine, and twelve pin tubes it'll test. After it warms up for a minute this little red button right here is the line adjust and you want this needle to go straight up in the center. And this is the knob you adjust it back with. You adjust it till it's straight up. Right there. Alright, now she's ready to test. You have uh, four different levels of settings. For most all tubes, you just use the bottom three. For all these, it'll be just the bottom three. So I'm going to name them one, two, and three. The When you do the compactron tubes, most of these stay up except for one or two. For a 12AX7 setting, you take this one and put it in the first position. Third, second, and third position. Make sure your voltage is on 12 volts. And over here is the load of the tube adjust. And just 90 is for the 12AX7. My first test is going to be of this 12AX7. I use a pin straightener. Straighten the pins so it goes in. Don't tear up my sockets on my tester. This is the socket for the 12AX7. Give it about 30 seconds or so to warm up so you can get an accurate, a decent accurate test. Uh, it's best to let them warm up for a minute or two at least. Normally I would, but this is just a demonstration. This tester does two tests on the, the strength of the tube. Over here, most of the tubes have a dynamic mutual conductance test, which is for like the triodes. Uh, and then over here you have an emissions test. This tests the emissions of the tube. All the tubes that are up here are only with the emission test only. They're not do dynamic mutual conductance. Alright, this 12AX7 right there. We're going to test the first triode and watch the ne needle move. There, it tests roughly 87, 88 on there for the first triode. Now for the second triode you push this down and it tests 80 on the second triode for dynamic mutual conductance. conductance. And then you go over here for your emissions. On the emissions is like 118 on one triode, first triode. Then now on the second triode, you turn this one to seven. And for emissions, it tests right at 118 too. This is a good strong tube. And then right here is the shorts meter. You're not going to be able to see it on the camera. But when you go to test it, if it's all the way open, it's bad. If it's down in there, it's good. And I don't think you can see it, but it's, it's in the good area. That's the 12AX7. Now, on the EL84, the settings in the first position are 1 and 2, then 4 and 5, then switch your voltage down to the 6, and 15 is the load on the EL84. EL84 on this tester only tests on the emissions. It does not do the dynamic mutual conductance. So... Pin straightener, straighten the tube, pins for the tube. 
and it goes in this slot right here. This is a power tube. It does a, a good job of testing this tester. Does it's simple to use, 110 voltage. It's it's it doesn't take a genius to figure it out. I'm coming over here and grabbing the booklet. It, it comes with the tube chart booklet. I've tested these tubes so many times. I remember these and a lot of them. And it's got the setup and the chart and everything for every tube that it tests. It's glowing. Okay, this is the emissions test on this one. It tests good and strong at 110. This is an awesome tube, EL84 tube. That's that's the test for that. Now we'll do the 6L6 GC tube. It's, it's a Sovtech. 6 on that. 10 on the load for the 6L6. Okay, this one goes in the second position at 2. The first position is 5. And the third position is 7. Those are the settings for the 6L6 tube. And let's stick it in the socket. It goes right here. Another power tube. It's a great little test. There's a lot of different tubes. Uh, the small miniature tubes are up here. And then this one there. The compactron and sweep tubes are right here. And on this, the 6L6 does both. And when, when a tube is over in this side, it does both dynamic mutual conductance and emissions. So, on the, uh, on the dynamic mutual conductance right there, this one don't test so strong. It, it's in the red. So we'll see what it does for emissions, but for dynamic mutual conductance, this is not a very good tube. But on the missions, a lot of times it goes good, really good. This one, nope. And some like this one right here. See, if you look at the meter, it's going backwards. This is a good tube to show. This is how you find out if the tube's got leakage. When I first did it, it started right on the edge of good. And that little by little, it's going down into the red. And now it is completely in the red and going down still. So this is a bad tube. This one right here, it has leakage in it. This tube is, is no good. I would not use I'll throw this tube away. It's, it, it's, it's, it's seen its better days for sure. Okay, there you go. Um, that's my operational video on the Seco 107A. Testing three different tubes that are very common tubes. Guitar amp tubes and radio tubes. And thank you very much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Don't forget to subscribe. Alright. Have a good day. Bye. Later on.